Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a maintenance technician interview. So if you have a maintenance technician interview coming up for any organization whatsoever, make sure you stay tuned because I will help you to succeed. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover. So I will give you a list of common maintenance technician job interview questions, the ones I strongly recommend you prepare for. I will then give you example brilliant answers to difficult maintenance technician interview questions. I will also give you some really important tips on how you can stand out during your maintenance technician interview. And finally, I will tell you how you can get access to further resources, including these slides and the answers to help you succeed. So let's get straight to it. The first question I recommend you prepare for is, tell me about yourself. Now this is going to be the first maintenance technician interview question that you will need to answer. In your response, talk about the following things. First of all, talk about the skills and the qualities you have. Talk about how you will always work to strict safety regulations. Now, safety should be a main feature of your answers to all of the maintenance technician interview questions. And also talk about how you will ensure their business has as much uptime as possible through effective maintenance. So here's a really good answer to that first maintenance technician interview question. Tell me about yourself. Here we go. Over the years, I have built up extensive experience that ensures the work I do is safe, it is to exacting standards and it is completed in a timely manner. Now, whilst the work I carry out as a maintenance technician will always be to the highest standards possible, I understand your organisation needs to stay operational and on that basis, I will always work quickly and diligently. I have excellent fault finding capabilities. I am strong physically and I have robust coordination and manual dexterity skills. Now, another one of my core strengths is my problem-solving capabilities. For example, in a previous role, I was often praised by my supervisors for not only solving difficult maintenance issues quickly, but for also taking the time to prevent them from happening again, which resulted in more operational uptime for the company. Now, if you hire me as your maintenance technician, I will always work safely, both on my own and as part of a team, and I will ensure my competency levels are always at the highest standards achievable. So that is a really good answer to that first question. Tell me about yourself. It is positive in nature and it sets you up for the rest of your maintenance technician interview with confidence. And that's what we are trying to achieve. Now, you can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we work through them together. Or if you want to wait, I will soon tell you where you can download my full set of 22 maintenance technician interview questions and top scoring answers. Here is the next question. Why do you want to work for our organisation as a maintenance technician? Now, it is important to show that you have conducted some research into their organisation and that you plan to stay working with them for a long period of time. The role of a maintenance technician is not one that an employer wants to keep changing periodically. They want someone to stay in the role for a long period of time. So here's a great answer to help you. Why do you want to work for us? Here we go. I want to work for your organisation primarily because you insist on high standards. I always work diligently and within strict safety guidelines as a maintenance technician. So from that perspective, the organisation I work for must have the same standards as I do. The second reason is you are clearly a progressive organisation. I am looking for long term employment as a maintenance technician. And from what I have gathered during my research, you will be around for many more years to come. Now, this means providing I do a good job for you, which I guarantee I will do. I will always have secure employment. Finally, other people I've spoken to about the way your organisation is run have said nothing but good things about the management team. Now, this means you will support me in my work, which again is really important to me. So that's a really good answer because you are giving three reasons why you want to work for their organisation. The rest of the candidates will probably just give one reason. So this helps you to stand out. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link, in the top right hand corner of the video. It will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 22 maintenance technician interview questions 
and top scoring answers, including the ones covered within this presentation. But here's the next question for you. How would you deal with a machinery breakdown? Now, when answering this maintenance technician interview question, show you can use a systematic fault finding process that is guaranteed to achieve results. Remember, working methodically and safely are two really important aspects of being a competent maintenance technician. So here's a great example answer to help you. Here we go. How would you deal with a machinery breakdown? With any breakdown or issue, I will always follow a six-step fault analysis process whilst maintaining rigorous safety standards throughout. Step one is where I will collect evidence to ascertain what has happened. I will speak to the last known operator to find out what occurred. And if safe to do so, I will operate the machinery and use my senses to detect any problems. So vibrations, smells, temperature, unusual operation and sounds can sometimes lead you to the issue quickly. Step two is where I will assess the evidence I have gathered and refer to the operating manual or the instructions. Step three is where I will locate the fault by using a process of elimination. I will then run tests to see what is working until I eventually whittle things down to the exact cause. Step four is where I will repair the fault and at this stage I will be able to inform my supervisor or manager how long the machinery will be non-operational for. Now this will then allow them to plan accordingly. Step five is where I will run some tests to make sure the machinery is safe, serviceable and fully operational. Finally, step six is where I will inform management that the machinery is safe to operate again and I will spend time explaining how the same issue can be avoided again in the future. Now this might mean having to retrain the operator or perhaps even putting systems in place to prevent a reoccurrence. That is an in-depth answer, but I love it because you are using a six-step process to deal with a machinery breakdown. It's a really good process, but you are also explaining all of the different steps in detail. So it shows you are a competent maintenance technician. Here is the next question. What are preventative maintenance regulations? This is a tough one. So your knowledge of safety regulations that encompass your work as a maintenance technician is likely to be assessed during your maintenance technician interview. Now, here's another great answer to help you to this common question. What are preventative maintenance regulations? Here we go. Preventative maintenance regulations are designed to be a set of hazard controls in the workplace that collectively help to prevent incidents and injury. The creation, dissemination and updating of the regulations are the responsibility of the employer and all employees must adhere to them. Now, the regulations will include guidelines and instructions that ensure all equipment maintains its operational status, it is operated correctly and steps are taken to ensure it is regularly serviced to identify defects and potential safety issues. Now, the preventative maintenance regulations are governed by the Occupational Health and Safety Administration, and this regulatory body provides employers with guidance on how to maintain compliance. That is a brilliant answer. It shows you fully understand what those regulations are and how they are implemented within the workplace. Don't forget, safety is a really important aspect of your maintenance technician interview. Here's another question guaranteed to come up. What are your strengths? So this question is guaranteed to feature at some stage during your maintenance technician interview. Now, when you answer the question, give four or five strengths that are a match for the job description. That is really important. So here's my example answer to help you. What are your strengths? My strengths include my ability to operate quickly, but within strict operational safety standards. I will never put your organisation or your workers at risk by poor working practices or repairs. I am a strong problem solver and I have lots of experience to draw upon, which means your business will be operational most of the time because I can identify the cause of a problem quickly. Other strengths include the fact I am commercially aware. Now, what I mean by this is I understand your business needs to be fully up and running as much as possible, and I will work the hours needed to ensure that happens. Finally, I work well with others. I am an excellent organiser of my work, and I have strong attention to detail skills, and I can turn my hand to almost anything that is technical related. That's another great answer. You are giving lots of strengths there that are clearly a match for the maintenance technician job description that you are applying for. Here's another one. What's your biggest weakness? This is a difficult question, but again, it's guaranteed to come up during your maintenance technician interview. Be careful not to give a weakness 
that is a match for any aspect of the role you are being interviewed for. So here's a great way to answer this difficult interview question. What's your biggest weakness? If I'm being honest, I would say my weakness is my frustration when I have to deal with some people in the past who do not understand how important safety is when operating machinery and carrying out their work in general. Whilst I am someone who understands businesses have tight budgets, I have a responsibility to my employer to make sure the work we all do around machinery is safe. I need to learn to be calmer about people who have this attitude. And whilst I will always insist they work to the relevant safety standards, I need to not let it frustrate me so much. Having said that, another one of my strengths is my ability to take on board feedback and constructive criticism. So if you see something I'm doing that you are not happy with, just tell me and I will improve on it straight away. That's a really good answer. Um, it's not a match for the job description and it shows that you are highly safety conscious. So the next thing to do is make sure you click that link in the top right hand corner of the video right now. It will take you through to my website passmyinterview.com and you can download my full set of 22 maintenance technician interview questions and top scoring answers including the ones we have been working through together today during this presentation. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe please do hit the like button. That tells me you find all of the content useful. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments section below the video. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your maintenance technician interview. Have a brilliant day.